Okay, so right here, we're doing an unboxing video. Right now, I am grabbing my 4 gigabyte of Crucial Ballistic Sport 4 gigabyte DDR3 stick of RAM. I just ordered it a couple days ago. There it is, you can see there. Took me a minute to uh, get this thing open and put back in the package. Yeah, there we go. Got it out pretty easy, but it didn't go back in. There it is. It is a Crucial Ballistic Sport 4 gigabytes of RAM. I have another one on the way, and I also have a motherboard on the way. This is just the parts that I received today. And right here, I'm having some trouble getting it back in. It's pretty annoying. And yeah. I seem kind of out of it. I just got back from the doctor. It's okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. Put that over there. Put it, we're just going to put it back in the package real quick. Uh, let's just see it one more time. See the back of it. And then right there you can see four gigabytes. If you wanted to read that, just go back and pause it. But I don't really know why you would want to read it. And then here we have my computer case. Well, that's a ninja store I'm about to open it up with. Uh, this is a Roswell dual fan case. I don't really know the full name for it. Links to two, both of these items will be in the description, along with my favorite um, PC gaming guy, which is Austin Evans. This is where I got this build from, was his channel, and I'll get put that link in the description. But I watch him all the time, and, and this is where I got the build from. This is the Boson 2.0. I will be doing all the other unboxing that I once I get the parts in the mail, I can do those unboxings as well. These are just the only two that I got today. And just to let y'all know, I did open this earlier today just to make sure my parts came in so this unboxing wouldn't look completely like a failure. So I had to open it and make sure I still got my stuff. So, yeah, there's some styrofoam. Don't know why I showed you that, but just, yeah, deal with it. Okay, and the case, I actually like that for a budget PC gaming build, I really do like this case. It's got a smooth, glossy finish to it. And then that little gray part you see at the bottom below the power button, that's kind of a, it's smooth plastic, it just feels really nice. The whole case is amazing. There's two USB points. Below the USBs you got a microphone and a headset. There's a reset button and a power button. It just feels really nice. It's just amazing. Makes my nipples hard. Uh, there's the, uh, some holes for better ventilation when you have the fans turned on. There's the back of it. That's where the motherboard goes. There are other ports that come with the motherboard. There's another fan inside there that you'll see in a minute. And there's where the power supply goes. Which the, I thought it came with it, but apparently it doesn't. So that's why I gotta buy one. There's the top. And there's the bottom. You got those uh, four styrofoam legs that it sits on. Pretty nice. Feel good to the touch. Nice and uh, smooth, if you will. Huh, now let's open this bad boy up. There's uh, two screws right here on the that's connected on the side panel to the actual whole case. And the, there's my cat. Looks uh, pretty fluffy. But, um, get those unscrewed and open this up so y'all can see inside. It was supposed to come with a power supply. I don't know why it didn't, but it was supposed to. I'm upset about that, but it's fine. Here's the manual. I'm not going to... You're not going to actually read it. I'm just showing you what it all has in the manual real fast. I know that's the boring stuff, but just bear with me. It's got all that stuff. You can pause it and look at that if you want. And then there's one of the fan. You can see that. But right now, I'm just uh, getting the stuff that it comes with, like the screws. And then the pegs that the motherboard mounts on. And inside that little package, I'll show you. It's got a speaker that connects to the motherboard. I'm guessing if anything goes wrong, it'll beep. I'm not. I don't know anything about PC gaming builds. This is my first build ever, so just if I get anything wrong, please put in the comments for further reviewers, so they can see the right thing. But this is my very first PC build, so just bear with me as much as you can. And then coming up, when I try to put all the pegs in, those golden ones that I'll show you right here, I try to put those in so when the motherboard does come in, I can go ahead and mount it. But um, one of them didn't want to go in for some reason, so you'll see me fiddle with that for a little bit, but if you don't want to see it, skip like 20 seconds ahead when you actually see me struggling, not now. 
But yeah, it takes me a little bit. And then I just get frustrated and I just throw the screw because it doesn't even matter. I mean, it, it really doesn't. It's, it's all good. We're still alive. I'm still me. You're still you. And there's uh, you can see where I'm guessing the hard drive goes, and then the other one is probably a, a CD drive. Those are the power and reset buttons. Those you will hook up into the motherboard later on. Those are the fan cores. Those you will also hook up into the motherboard. And then here's where I try to put the pegs in. But overall, like I'll keep you occupied real quick. Overall, the PC case, it looks really simple. But I really do like it. Like, for real. I, and then I know when I build this PC, I'm going to play with it, play on it for a little while. And then I have a job, so I'm going to save up some paychecks. And, um... I'm going to sell this one, and with my money I have saved up, I'm going to build Austin Evans, I think it's called the Photon, uh, but it's a $500 gaming PC build. Uh, if you don't, if it's not called the Photon, just look up Austin Evans $500 PC build, but I'll have his channel link in the description so you can see all of his stuff. He makes a lot of great videos, a lot of great reviews. He, he can really teach you a lot if you're a beginner like I am. I knew nothing about this stuff, but ever since I've been watching Austin Evans, uh, ever since then I've been wanting to build a PC, and within a week of watching him, I'm already buying parts for a PC. Because I, I can't use those PCs you buy at Walmart or Best Buy or something that you can't really run any games on it whatsoever. Sorry about that alarm. But um, it's just, it's I don't even know. But there, I'm going to take the other side panel off. There, the side panel has nothing special on it. But there, it's a, it's a little deep, just a little bit. So you can do some extra wiring if you need to, to make it a little less cluttered. So you can just put wires through there, through them two holes or something. I'm not real sure on that. You probably know more than I do, so do it however you prefer. But this, the video, the link to the actual build will be on the in the description so you just click on that and you can see the actual build so you can know what all parts i'm putting in it except instead of four gigabytes of ram i'm doing eight gigabytes and the graphics card i will be upgrading to uh, a sapphire radeon r7 250 i believe it is but anyways that's the end of it that's just everything i ordered i hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe all the links will be in the description remember stay awesome